thanks um, for this amazing introduction, Adam. Um, ever since the last year, few years, we've been doing the GDP report as part of the main track of the AGM. This is something that, uh, sorry, the, of the main track of Academy. This is something that used to be done uh, during the AGM exclusively, but uh, for transparency and well, availability reasons, we decided to uh, move it well here at the normal academy tracks. So all of you know what kind of things that we've been up to and are on our minds. And in case that you want to help, you can just step forward as always. Uh, um, there will be a buff, of course, uh, later this week. Um, First of all, while well, introducing ourselves, my name is Olesh, and I am the president right now. You can see here on the screen Aika, who is our vice president and treasurer. Please wave. Great job. Lydia, our other vice president, uh, Neophytos, who is a board member, and then as well uh, Adrian, who is being a bit shy but should be with us soon enough. Um, there's no elections this year because that's how it works. We have three-year mandates and, well, this year there's none uh, to challenge or to fill. We've had a good amount of new members, 23 since last Academy. Good job, everyone, both for joining and for inviting. Uh, to join the, in the KDAV, you will know that uh, you need to have a member to uh, suggest you to the membership. So if you want to be part of the KDAV, find one, maybe one of us or anyone in the uh, association and tell them that you want to fill a questionnaire. They will know what you mean. It's our secret code for joining. Um, it's very important to have new people and seeing all of uh, the 23 of you uh, makes my heart warm. So a uh, round of applause for, for all of you. Welcome. Besides the membership itself, uh, we have the supporting members who are uh, people who decide to support economically as well as in uh, well, some capacities, the, the KDV which is um, a way for us to um, well, uh, include you when you don't want to participate uh, directly with with the tasks, but you still want to support the uh, KD goals at large. Um, we've been trying to improve this, this program by sending more information about what we've been up to. Um, we are still having some problems with CVCRM. We're working on them. Um, and actually, uh, well, if it doesn't get solved soon enough, we will look in, into alternatives, but, but we're still hopeful because that's the kind of people we are. Um, this was about individuals, of course, uh, which are the ones like any of you, you can go and uh, join the game as we called it back then. Uh, there's also some uh, a program for uh, companies to become patrons. You you will have uh, heard of it, but internally we call it corporate supported members. Patrons are only the higher tiers. There's also the supporters of KDE, of course. Uh, well, let's then name them. Uh, to thank mainly, uh, there's Blue Systems, Google, Spusa, uh, the kit company, Canonical, Anyoka, Haute Couture, and the new ones this year, which are Slimbook and Pine64, uh, you're very welcome. There's also the supporters of KD, of course, which are Basiscom, uh, KDAB, and Content GmbH. Also, thank you very much for being there. Uh, we have the KDB advisory board as well, which is uh, uh structure that we created uh for patrons but not exclusively you will see uh most of our kdb patrons as part of the advisory board 
but not just that. Uh, you can see there's uh, other nonprofits around our community that are also part of it, uh, namely Post Nigeria, the Document Foundation, the City of Munich, the FSFS um, are also part of this. Oh, Open UK are also part of of these uh, conversations. This is mo mostly a, a space where well we first. Uh, update on what we've been up to during the last few months or ever since the last meeting anyway and we have discussions on well, how certain things could be done better not that much on the kd products themselves but also as well at an organizational level we have a bunch of partners as well and affiliations as a as an organization not sure that it makes a whole lot of sense to go through all of them, but if you're an organization and you would like to uh, work closely with uh, KDV, well, there's that possibility. We can be a member of your organization, maybe if that makes sense, like it does, for example, for OSI or the Open Invention Network. Um, if you're affiliate, if you're doing something related to KDV locally and you're properly set up, you can consider uh, signing the local KD organization's um, document, and then we can have this more formal uh, conversation as well. Um, and yeah, all of them, they're very welcome. We're lucky to have so many friends around the, uh, well, around the world, uh, and we would be happy to have even more. And with that, we come to staff and contractors. Um, KEEV as an organization has a number of um, staff members and contractors that we have to support the KDE community. Um, we have Petra as our assistant to the board, Annika and Paul as marketing consultants to help us with promoting KDE. Adam as a project coordinator and generally um, very funny academy introducer. Um, we have Ellison uh, to help us with all kinds of event management things. And since uh, not too long ago, Frederick and Carl to help us getting our documentation in order. Next slide, please. Anish? Right. We also have a number of upcoming positions. Um, two of them are for the Plauer Engel uh, grant project, uh, for the grant that we got from the Bundesumweltamt, uh, which you might have heard in Cornelius' talk uh, yesterday. And then we have three positions um, coming up that are related to this whole Make a Living initiative, which we'll talk a bit about uh, later here. And um, Nefitus and I will have a talk about it um, later today. Next slide, please. So uh, let's uh, go to the individual positions we have. Um, Petra is amazing in helping us maintaining our office, doing all the accounting and related paperwork, um, making sure that uh, anyone who needs a reimbursement from KDE gets it. Um, helping support with Academy, um, helping us organize meetings and stuff um, uh, like that, and generally helping the board stay on top of things. Uh, next, please. And we have Alison, who is doing amazing stuff with uh, all kinds of events, supporting the Academy team, supporting the Linux App Summit team, um, the upcoming 21st anniversary of KDE, and um, has also been helping with um, the fundraising efforts by making sure that we send out uh, good stuff to our supporting members uh, to give them updates on KDE's efforts. Next, please. Then we have Adam, um, who you now have uh, heard a few times already, um, who is helping us with logistics um, for the Gold Champions, helping organize all kinds of uh, things related to the goals so that they are progressing along nicely. 
Um, check out his blog posts about what's happening around the goals. Um, also, we have this whole fiduciary licensing agreement process and documentation around it, um, which is supporting the trainings that uh, you had um, the day before yesterday um, were uh, organized by him. And in general, um, sprint organizing. If we hopefully soon uh, get back to actual real life um, in-person events uh, like sprints, then Adam uh, is there to help you make that happen. Next, please. And with that, I hand over. <laughs> Yeah, I'll jump in to share a bit more on what Anika and Paul have been doing on the marketing front. Um, Anika has been pushing a lot on the KDE network setup, and it already started in India with some successful stories there, and, and it's now being built in China and soon in Brazil, as I interest from there as well. Uh, in India specifically, there has been uh, they have been establishing relationships with the public officials and institutions in Kerala, which is a city region in India. Um, they, they managed to get uh, some KDE applications into some public schools and other institutions, and also the, we started participating in an events in China. Um, specifically on India, there seems to be an increasing number of committed contributors coming from uh, there. So this is very encouraging and we, we want even more. Um, uh, the team has organized uh, our presence, the KD presence, and created content for visual booths in external events like FOSS Asia and FOSTEM in the last year. Uh, while also doing their usual work, which is around authoring announcements, doing blog posts, thought stories, social media management, and promoting in general all the KDE projects, our developers, and our products. And for the first time, uh, Promo uh, participated in KDE season of um, in the season of KDE uh, with three projects and mentoring three, I think, or four students. So with some very very good results. And you applications coming out of that. So that was also very interesting. And handing over to eight. If I can get the next slide, please. We have our very newest hires. They're too new for pictures. So uh, Carl and Frederick, hey, send in some uh, nice headshots um, and join the group photo, of course. Carl and Frederick have joined us uh, to work on documentation. Uh, API documentation um, is sort of the, the main focus, but we'll also be looking at uh, application documentation. Uh, this is a process we started in 2018 where we had an analysis done of what our documentation uh, provides and what is needed. Um, Carl is going to be working on, on the tooling support. Uh, to modernize our tool chain, make things nicer in general. And Frederick has been reaching out to various parts of the community to uh, actually collect the work for uh, improving the actual documentation. So that's, uh, yeah, they've, they just started two weeks ago. Uh, they have a number of boffs here at Academy, so you can uh, chime in, give them more information and work together to make KDE better. If we can move on. Um, another way of making KDE better is, hey, our favorite event, Academy. Um, we were originally going to try to have Academy 2021 in person because we used to be optimists. We are still optimists, so hey, let's try it again. Uh, Academy 2022, we'll plan to have it uh, in person somewhere. We've now got so much experience with doing um, this kind of online event that uh, we'll be searching for the balance of uh, real life and uh, online to make it easier for everyone to attend. Um, once the call for papers or call for locations is out, uh, hey, maybe it should be near your place. Moving on. Um, in 2021, hey, Academy, uh, didn't happen in real life and our usual activities are a lot of sprints because it's important to bring the KDE community together. Um, sprints didn't happen much. You can't get together and sit together and uh, spread diseases together. So we didn't do that much. We had a couple of online events. Um, you see the list is fairly short here on the screen. Um, 
I don't know whether that's because people didn't organize things or whether it's just so easy to get together online now that uh, nobody bothered to call it a real sprint. Um, the board gets together regularly. You see that where we love our administrative get togethers. Moving on. Um, conferences and trade shows is also a big, a big event for the KDEV. We all, we love going to FOSDEM and well, FOSDEM, like everything else in the online world or in the free software world, uh, turned online. So let's try that again. We're planning to be there in February, uh, when the weather is cold. Our own conferences. Hey, we organized Academy 2020 and it was great. And now we're organizing Academy 2021 and it's going to be great. Um, and in between, we had the uh, Linux App Summit. Uh, that's largely uh, thanks to Aleish and other people. So I just get to talk about it. Um, but the uh, uh, LAS uh, was quite a success uh, both years. Um, LAS 2021 was just, what, two weeks ago? Recently, in any case. So those those continue to be a uh, good events for KDE. Moving on, somebody else. <laughs> That's me. All right, uh, fundraising. So our fundraising strategy has uh, mostly remained the same in the last year as it was also in the previous years with our primary income sources being the individual donations as well as donations from supporting members, uh, both individuals and also companies. And in general, those sources have continued to develop very well. Um, that um, is not something we take for granted because we just had the global pandemic and money was tight for a lot of folks. But apparently, in, uh, at least in our network and in our audience, uh, folks felt actually more generous as a result. So um, we've seen an increase there. And there will be more details later in the Financial Working Group report in the following slot. Uh, with nice charts and so on. So I'm not going to much detail beyond that right now. Um, we did contract out further work for CVCRM, which is the web application that we use to manage um, the supporting memberships for KDEV. Um, mostly we've done upkeep there. We also always um, wanted to do additional feature development there to make life easier and give more options to supporting members, such as setting their own amount. Unfortunately, that still didn't get done this year. Um, we're not so happy with that web application anymore. As Aleish mentioned earlier, we may start looking into alternatives there. Um, we've seen some interesting um, experiments there in the uh, wider community, such as the new website that Krita is using, and let's say that's inspiring. Um, we did um, also, not quite done yet, sorry, back to the slide. <laughs> I'm a, a long-winded speaker, sorry. Um, we did not do any uh, campaigns again. We didn't feel the need, and in general, we think that's more something to do when you have a specific purpose in mind, um, which we didn't this year. Uh, so we haven't done campaigns. Now the next slide, please. Next. I gave you powers to... Oh to my God, to... fantastic. Now I can speak. All right. Um, this is more, by the way, you can also find in our annual report, which we did manage to release in time for Academy this year. That includes uh, many reports from uh, all sorts of corners within the community and from many EV working groups. So please um, do check that out. It's pretty great read. Once again, it was a pretty exciting day. Um, make a living. So Lydia touched on this um, earlier. We did uh, within the EV and its membership a uh, fairly exciting activity um, this year, which was um, to start thinking more and more what we could do with our large accumulated resources and how we could invest them in a way that uh, might actually promote growth within the EV, but also in the community at, the, at large. Um, we called this Make a Living, and what we did was um, we interviewed many members of the community on their input, um, what they thought uh, we might be able to do to allow more people to do KDE work for a living, to make it more sustainable. Um, what we found in the past is that very often, you know, one's activity within KDE fits into a certain life stage, and then once you exit that life stage, um, it gets tough to keep up that activity level um, at the same level. And one way to 
um, mitigate that is to actually do it for a living and find a job doing KDE. And that is uh, exactly what we want to prom promote around the ecosystem. We want more of the partners that we have, the corporates, um, to create KDE jobs because they feel that's the worthwhile thing for them to do. And um, maybe that is not the only idea. Maybe there are also other uh, ways to create more KDE jobs. So we did a survey on that and we collected answers and uh, we produced uh, some and erstwhile conclusions and some initial recommendations. And what we came up with um, was a new set of contractors that KDEV will hire and um, that are intentionally designed to actually create some new funding sources for KDEV so that in the first place we can sustain those positions, uh, but also hopefully make KDE technology more attractive to adopt by others and then further spurring more job creation. And uh, Lydia and uh, Neil Fritos will give a talk on this later in the Academy program in much greater detail. So hopefully that uh, created some appetite in, in attending the talk because I think it would be very interesting. Uh, working groups. So the KDEV has many working groups that um, tend to different aspects um, of our activities and um, try to uh, do certain activity to um, you know, help the community in that area and do that with a certain level of continuity and quality. An example um, is the financial working group and also the fundraising working group. And those are dear to my heart as the treasurer, but um, we have many more. And um, we've always been trying to improve the working groups every year and make them more effective. And this year we went um, through a somewhat more elaborate process on that. We interviewed um, all of the existing working groups and essentially asked them to describe themselves, how they do their work, um, how they see their responsibilities, how they handle certain things like succession and, and similar. And um, then we analyzed that and then did some soul seeking on it. And something that uh, we found is that um, the working groups have some challenges and um, they do very important work, but often that work can feel less rewarding than working on a more regular KDE project does. Um, one of the reasons is that that work is often done sort of behind the scenes, behind closed doors, um, without um, getting that regular feedback from the community as you do if you, for example, work on an application. Um, they lack that visibility and, and therefore working in them is less rewarding. Um, so we realized that um, we've kind of maybe all known all along how to make the working groups more effective and make it a more enjoyable place to work in and making them more like regular KDE projects are. And uh, we've um, written that down and explained it and given some recommendations to the working group as a result in the form of a report and uh, we hope they, uh, they find that useful for their work and that um, it will make it easier for them going forward to, to do their very important work for the KDE community. Um, so those activities were certainly also some of our personal highlights of the year, but there were many others. Um, very uh, cool was to see one of our patrons release a hardware device, the Pine phone, um, together with the Plasma Mobile community. I think that um, to many was um, a culmination of a many years long effort um, to make Plasma Mobile ready for a wider audience. And um, I think the community also learned a lot uh, working with the hardware vendor. Um, even better is that the Pinecone is just uh, one example of several. Um, we've seen um, in general KDE technology get adopted in more and more devices and more and more companies being interested in shipping devices with KDE technology. Um, I don't think that um, 10 years ago many people would have anticipated that when we were more uh, sort of had all of our eggs in the desktop basket, so to speak. Um, I think we've um, expanded and, and created a lot of new abilities and skills and experience there in the community. And that's really cool to see and um, I think it's going to be exciting what will come from that track in the future. Um, we were also super, super, super happy and grateful to see how well the community has done under really difficult circumstances um, in the last year during the global pandemic. Um, in almost every way and on every level, um, people rose to the challenge of setting up the infrastructure that we needed for virtual events. Um, people attended those events um, at a good clip and enjoyed them. 
Um, our income has remained very stable, as mentioned, uh, donations have even grown during the pandemic. Sorry, by the way, I had a bit of a throat ache the last few days, so my voice is actually <laughs> going to hell right now. <clears throat> so that um, turned out to be really wonderful to see. Nevertheless, I think we're all very, very grateful that um, the state of the pandemic seems to be improving in many areas of the world and that we can return to physical events hopefully in the coming year. And next to Lydia, I think. While we talk about things to be grateful for and uh, celebrate, quick reminder, in October, October 14th will be the 25th anniversary of the email uh, sent by Matthias Etrich to um, announce uh, KDE. Um, and this is clearly something we need to celebrate. If you want to help make this a very memorable occasion, uh, please join Alison and me uh, on Thursday to uh, to come to our buff and um, figure out how you can help. Next. Okay, yeah, it took a moment there for me to figure out that I needed to click the button. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to talk about other people's achievements again. Um, what we said we would do and what we actually managed to get done. Each year during this talk, uh, we, we give a sketch of, hey, what are we going to do in the next year? What would KDE EV like to achieve? Last year, we said these things. Uh, we'd like to come back together. Well, obviously, that kind of fell apart. The world still doesn't allow everything uh, to happen the way we would like it to. Um, and that's why you earlier saw a couple of slides with, let's do that again. Well, let's try it again. Um, so this is going to come back on our what are we going to do this year uh, sheet. Last year, we said we would be working towards sustainable funding. Well, you heard Aika say that uh, we've made great strides towards that. There's still some additional things to be done. This slide still talks about uh, using Civi CRM. Uh, we're, and as Aika said, we're weighing it in the balance. Make a living. Uh, the third item on this slide, uh, well, you've, you've seen we're going to be hiring people. We've figured out what we want to do and how we're going to move that forward to also help out with the sustainable funding. Uh, situation. More things we said we would do, we would be supporting an open source friendly hardware ecosystem. Well, we've welcomed Pine64 and Slimbook to our patrons. So we've uh, definitely made steps there. I think we, uh, we mission accomplished there. But just because that mission is accomplished doesn't mean we need to sit down. And the last thing we said we were going to try for the past year was copy and boost what works. That really reflects on the uh, on the working groups where uh, we're enthusiastic about what they do and the, the importance of the topics they choose um, but not all of them work as well as as they might and as Aika said we're continuing to to massage that to uh, so we got maybe halfway on that last point so that's me looking at the past. Now we move on to Neo, who can talk about the future. Thanks, Ed. So yeah, talking about like uh, some things that we think are important and we plan to focus upon going forward for the next year. Uh, Lydia already mentioned the Make a Living initiative. Um, we need to fill in the positions we prepared and we proposed. Uh, make sure these people, the new contractors, they integrate probably into our community and start being pro productive and they add value to our products and see if there are any new areas where KD can get into uh, that we need to explore. Um, this goes with uh, organizational growth, of course. Our EV is getting bigger, the organization is growing a lot. Uh, so this brings additional effort to, in order to adapt, adjust and adopt, uh, find, figure out new processes, figure out new tools for collaboration and all those logistics. Um, one of our key goals that we discussed a lot in the recent past has been on getting KDED members to help more and we want to push for that more. So if you are a KDED member, um, 
we need your help in order to continue growing and in order to have a more sustainable organization scheme around the AD. Uh, if you are not an AD member, do consider joining us. If you are an AD member, please uh, uh, step up and take over maybe some initiative in assigning some tasks to yourself, joining a working group. See, reach out to us to see if there's any way you can help us. We could definitely use all the help we can, we can get. Um, so what we want to achieve with them is that more and more members of the EV are more active as EV members. They are making meaningful contributions through the EV members, through the EV membership, and help the board and the other people in the working groups to um, uh, run the whole association. I have a presenter, so I can go to the next slide. We have the same goal last year. As I mentioned, we want to try again. We want to bring our community back together. The, the bandwidth in in-person meetings is huge. And we believe this can be very productive for our community, for our people, for building relationships. So hopefully, both Academy and all, uh, all our other upcoming sprints will be a good opportunity for that in the next year. And another uh, big topic is the partners, our hardware partnerships. Uh, I think it was Aike that mentioned that we have managed to build some very good ones over the past year. We want to continue and improve all those uh, partnerships, ex explore new areas, and continue to work with businesses and professionals around KDE. So we have a good network of people and experts in our around us and built on top of all the experience we gained so far in order to reach like future friends. And I'll pass it over to Aleix to wrap it up. So this was short of 30 minutes, but there's a whole lot of work to be done. So, well, work with us. Uh, you can do so by joining our office hours later this week. Here it says the 23rd at uh, 5 p.m. UTC. Um, you can find all of us in a myriad of communication channels, both in Matrix and elsewhere, also by email at kdvboard.org. Um, yeah, thanks uh, for listening to us. And now we're going to have the working groups. Um, should we just start now, or we have some time for questions? Time for questions. So, questions. Adam, Adam, do you have questions for us from the chat? I don't have questions yet. Let me link again the the widget and the site where people can submit questions to the board. And let's see if there's anything uh, coming up. By the way, Lydia, very funny academy introducer. That's the that's the best one you could come up with. By the way, while we're here, remember there's a talk by uh, Lydia Neophytos about the make a living process later today. Don't miss it. And there's also one for the birthday, right? There is a buff for the birthday. Yeah, and Adam. Um, I I can't do better. That's why we have you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. No questions coming in. So I guess the presentation was very clear. Amazing. We'll, we'll be changing people around for the work group. Or are you still staying uh, as it is? I will be staying. Um, I can be staying. You know, just will be staying to represent working group things. <laughs> OK, nice. And I do no work, so I'm going to leave. That's not true. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm still working on an initialism, the sort of super zany organizing presenter for Academy. 
or SZOPA, um, but it, it, it still needs a bit of work, wordsmithing. We'll, we'll figure out a good job title for you eventually. Very good, very good. Hey, come on, Adam. Yeah, don't, don't act like you're embarrassed now. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the first time someone tried to do an acronym of my last name, so I, I, I was in shock, really. Yeah, so no questions coming in. Lots of thank yous and and kudos in the in the chat, but no questions. So thank you, uh, thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Alex. You're you're leaving right uh, as well. And uh, I think Lydia Novitos will be staying. And who's joining uh, as well? We have several people joining from the different uh, working groups. Um, among them, Thomas, Frederick, uh, David, Bushan, um, and Olaf. Oh my, that's a lot. Uh -huh. This will be a big show. Oh, um, ju just as as people were leaving, uh, a question came up in the uh, in the widget. Maybe maybe Let's we can take still it. ask it. If, if, that, if it's not a problem, David. That's asked, not a problem. Are the contractors full time or part time? So they are in general part time. Um, one of the reasons is that um, they are contractors, and at least in most jurisdictions, um, contractors are not allowed to have a single client. Um, so unless you enjoy working far more than you should, it's uh, it's strange to have multiple clients and work for any of them full time. Mm 